Hello everybody and welcome to the Cinepax YouTube channel. Today we are going to be looking at lens effects completely free and at the end of the video I'll even show you how to make this slick title reveal with this pack. So anyway to get the pack go over to Cinepax.com, go to the free pack section and add the lens pack to your cart. It's completely free. Just fill out your information. You can put whatever you want here. It doesn't matter and your pack will be ready to download. Once you guys have the zip file downloaded, make sure you open it up and drag all the files outside of the zip file, that way you can extract them. And from there, we can go on to the media page of DaVinci to import them. I personally use the media tab to import everything because it will save the file system and keep everything really organized. If you wanna just drag it directly from your file explorer and just have everything in a big mess, by all means, go ahead. All right, let's take a look at what we have here over here in the edit page. Uh, the lens effects was actually recently updated, so it has some even cooler effects now, but if we play through some of these, you can see we have some awesome, really neat lens flares and things that we can mess with. Uh, looking at the second one, we even have some colored ones that we can mess with, and some that give you some chromatic effects as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and test this out on some footage now. I'm going to just drag in this cool monochromatic footage that I have right here if we play it through. As you can see, I think this would be a perfect place to get some really cool lens flares. Now one thing, it does not fill up the entire screen, so I'm going to click on my layer, go over to the inspector, go down to retime and scaling, and change the scaling to fill. And as you can see, that will fit it to the screen. All right, now next thing I wanna do, let's go over to our actual VFX sample pack here, and let's grab one, I want it more to just flare across the screen, nothing that's too consistent. More when um, this person makes contact with the mirror that they are touching. I want it to flash across the screen, so right there. Perfect, I like that a little bit. Now to make these blend better, go over to the composite and change it to something like screen. Vinci's not very good because they order these in alphabetical order, which is not very helpful because I'd much rather have them organized in whether they lighten or subtract from the color or the brightness. Um, but something like um, overlay or screen should work best. I would just stick with screen, um, but definitely if you have some time, look into the different composite modes and how those actually work. That way you have a better foundational understanding of what this is doing. Um, but change it to screen, that'll always get you started. And if we play it through, it looks pretty neat. Now one thing though, in the beginning, it just kind of pops in as you can see. See, I don't like how we have it just pop in. So um, when the layer first starts. So I'm gonna click Control T, and as you can see, that adds a little crossfade, and let's shorten it just in the beginning, and I don't think we really need it in the end because it pops out, so if we go ahead and press, there you go, that looks pretty cool. Um, so that makes the, a smoother transition, that way it fades in rather than having it pop in. We could even um, do it again and have it fade out and see how that looks. Uh, stretch it a little bit longer. There we go, I like that. I like that, it looks pretty nice. One thing I wanted to mention, dragging in this footage here, going into the anamorphic sample pack, there's also a really cool aspect ratio template. So all you do is drag it right on top of any footage, and you can see it adds these cinematic black bars to give your shot a really cool cinematic look. So this is without it, and this is with it. So automatically kind of crops it down to that cinematic aspect ratio. Uh, Control F to go full screen, by the way, and as you can see, that looks really cool. And if we raise up the layer here and put the anamorphic underneath it, you can see that the aspect ratio actually lines up perfectly with it. And that looks really cool. And we can just go ahead and of course change the screen. Now let's say though you also wanted to change the color of that. That is completely possible. Um, ooh, that looks really cool. That is actually really cool. That was just, just messing around, but I like it. All right, anyway, let's click on our anamorphic blue and go over to the color page. Now, to go ahead and change the color of any of these, you can just play it through. I would probably go over to the hue right here, and you can kind of rotate the hue around. Now, I got this really cool cyan, and it looks a lot different than before, and I think it looks really sick. If you have the color warper open over here, and you just adjust the hue, you can see how it spins around. Um, and easily you can change whatever color to some other really cool effect. Now look at that kind of green, kind of stylized thing, but I think it looks the best with its original blue. All right, let's go back over to the edit page and mess around there more. We can drag in one of these colorful ones over here, just drag it in, change it to screen, do do do, and just see how that looks. 
that looks pretty cool i do like that um and then we could probably add another fade at the end of it that way it transitions out a little bit better so it doesn't pop out right there that's a lot smoother um but let's also look at the anamorphic ones now these are now these are filmed at more of a cinematic aspect ratio so if we just drag these in we do want to get it to fit to screen so we can go over to the scaling again and click fill again we can go over to the transform box and just kind of drag it around. DaVinci's a little bit weird with how it manages you rescaling it over here, but I do find it perfectly fine for what we're doing. So let's position it right around there and as usual, change it to screen and see what kind of cool effects we get there. And there we have some cool little lens flare effects. Now, one thing that I did want to show you, let's go over here to like lens effects and let's find something that kind of covers the whole screen. I like this one. Uh, find something, find one of the effects that kind of like glare and fill up most of the screen and drag that in. And then let's go over to our effects library, go down to text, type in text, and we just need a basic text, not text plus. We don't need any fusion over here. Um, and let's just zoom in right here. And I kind of, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, we'll just call it basic title. Now this time we're gonna put the text above the lens flare effect and we're gonna change the text over here in settings. You're gonna to wanna to change it to overlay, I believe, yes. Now if we play this through, you can see it reacts with the light, which is super cool. However, in the beginning, I'd like it to only start showing when things start to get bright. So I'm going to cut it right there, control T and have it just fade in. So there we have that nice little fade, so it's a smoother transition. And then what I want is I want it to go to solid white after it pulses. So find where it goes to white. Where is it? Oh, right, right there. That's where it goes completely white. And let's complete it, trim it down, hold down Alt and duplicate it, all right? On the second one that we just duplicated, go over to the inspector and change it back to normal, all right? That way it's not reacting with the light. And after doing that, if we press play, we got a fancy Apple tech logo reveal going on here. And I love it a lot. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well and have a lot of fun with that. There's a lot of cool, fancy little title reveals that you can make if you mess around with any of these. Now, as always, guys, all the effects that we just went through today are completely free to use. And you can use them in any of your projects, commercial, paid, anything, music videos, whatever you dream is completely free. However, if you guys do want to get one of the full-sized packs, I got an awesome code for you, SAMPLE15, SAMPLE15. Type that code in during checkout and you will get 15% off your order. And I highly recommend going over and looking at all the full-size packs. They're really cool to mess with and they give you a ton more options than just this. But definitely check out these first because there's a lot here to mess with as well. So, as usual guys, happy editing and have a great day. Peace.